We are going to have to DS the aircraft at the uh, gate this morning, anticipating just about a five yeah. uh, to ten minute delay here at the gate while we DS the aircraft, and we'll uh, push back and have you underway. We'll stand be clear for takeoff. Please ensure that your seatbelts are fastened low and tight. Seatbacks and tray tables up and locked. All carry-on items remain stowed. We'll be turning the cabin lights off for departure. Your reading light is directly above you. Happy to have you with us today. Again, four hours and 41 minutes of flying time as soon as we uh, uh, get underway. Thank you. guys, I am back in Philadelphia, just flew here from Hawaii, I was there for the last three and a half months, now it's on to the next chapter, you guys are going to have to wait and see, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a van, I'm going to convert it into a camper, I'm going to do a lot of traveling and continue these adventures, so if you haven't ready, subscribe, and make sure you check out what is about to come. Right now I'm going to show you guys how to build a van. What's up guys? A few days have passed since I got back to PA. Spent the last few days researching vehicles and climbing some cranes and towers. We are now here in New York. My brother here is driving us to a bus dealership. I'm gonna try to go find myself a nice road trip adventure vehicle today. I already bought the solar panels, the sink, stove, and a few other appliances to convert this bad boy. I'm trying to get this thing done in like two weeks and then go out to California, learn to skydive. See you guys in a little bit. We finally got all the seats out. Look how much room I have in here now. I am not very good with carpentry stuff. I am good with electronic stuff. So I'm gonna install the solar panels, probably myself, but I definitely need help with all the carpentry work from my dad, because he is real good at that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a good team right here. We're gonna get this thing looking pretty in no time. Bed here, cabinets there, table there. Oh, and by the way, it's the cool bus now. I lied guys, we're not turning this into a camper. We're turning this into a dance floor. I think a camper might be safer actually. So I just drilled the holes into the back of the cabinets. Now we're gonna throw a bolt through the back of the cabinet into the two by three, which will then rest securely in the side of the bus. Wow. Mom, you're interrupting my vlog. Uh -huh. Woo! Day number seven. But here, let me show you what we got done so far. We started those wall joints here. We bolted these right into this rail. That's part of the structure of the bus. And we put up some siding. This is my cabinet top. This isn't done yet. I gotta do another layer of polyurethane to get it nice and shiny. And we're gonna try to mount the solar panels on the roof today and also finish the bed frame. So let's get some.
think I'm finally done with all of the wiring. The solar power wires roll down here, go through the controller, down this line, through a fuse to the battery, and then the batteries are linked together parallel. From the battery, uh, there's a cable that goes to the inverter, and now I have power to edit videos in the wilderness. I can completely be off the grid and get my work done, so that's good. today. It's probably midnight or 1am now. I'm still out here working on the electrical stuff. Last night I got the solar panels completely hooked up and they worked. Today the battery's actually charged and they're fully charged now. Finally got the outlet into the wall. It's got two USB ports and then this is to turn on the power inverter which is under there. So you turn that on and then the outlets have power. Let's test it out real quick. I got sawdust all up in my grill. You know what I'm saying, shoddy? Plug this in and hope it works. All right, moment of truth, here it is. And by the way, a heater is a lot of wattage, so if this can handle a space heater, it can handle pretty much anything. I'm gonna turn this bad boy on and see what happens. Woo! Hear that? She's running. All right, so basically, I'm gonna give you a little lowdown of what's going on. This is a water pump. That's gonna be pumping the water out of my tank that's gonna be right here up to my sink, which I'm about to hook up as well. This right here is a switch, on and off switch. I gotta make these wires look clean. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but you turn the switch on, the water pump turns on, and then it will start the water flow upwards and then you're good to go to use the sink. Whew. I don't know what day it is, but I think it's day 11. Today is the day I'm planning to leave. The bus is nearly done. There's just a few minor things. I'm just cleaning up a little bit, putting the sheets on the bed, putting the curtains up doing a little bit more staining, and then I got a packet full of all my stuff, and then I'm gonna try to head out of here tonight, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right after I'm completely done. This right here is my table. This is definitely where all the magic happens, right here. At nighttime, I'll throw up a lantern over there, throw up the heater right here, and it's literally like the best office of all time. I love it. And so when I'm not using the table, these legs fold up on both sides, and there's actually a hinge underneath this that you can't see because we placed it so strategically. But yeah, there's a hinge underneath this windowsill and the whole table just folds down and then you have all of this extra space to do whatever you want. Have a dance party. All right, over here, we have the kitchen. You have water. Pretty cool. 
right. Here's all my silverware. I got a propane stove. That's super nice. You know, I can cook whatever I really need to. So what's really cool about the bed, it doesn't have any support beams in the middle. So you have all of this for storage space. I have storage for days under here. I just packed this thing full of just food, clothes, lots of clothes. Got some books to read. And on this other side, just as much space. Throw snowboards, surfboards, everything you could ever want. You can throw back there, there's plenty of room. And I got a water tank back there for drinking water. <clears throat> Those right there, those are two steps. They're not for me. Um, they're for fat chicks because they have a hard time getting up on this bed. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was accommodated in this RV. Um, works out good. I'm kidding. Jess, you're not fat. Don't kill me, Jess. Just got the uh, logo on, and we're ready to go. The bus is done. I'm gonna load it up tonight, and I'm gonna head west. Huge shout out to my dad, who was a massive help during this project. He made a lot of this happen with his crazy carpentry skills. Cannot wait, guys. This is gonna be a great adventure. Follow me on the future adventures. I'm going to Colorado now. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It took a long time and a lot of work and love and patience to make this thing so huge shout out to my dad shout out to my mom i love you mom thank you for being so supportive kyle you're pretty cool too he's my brother my family's awesome i love you guys too my youtube family catch you next sunday peace